Hello everyone, in this video we're going to be looking at the new changes and new features as part of the last wave of preview builds of Windows 11. In this video I will give you a recap of the new changes for build 26,257 in the Canary channel, build 26,120 that 1330 in the dev channel, build 22,635 that 4000 in the beta channel, and build 26,100 that 1297 in the release preview channel. Okay, let's dive into the changes for these random previews. But before, please subscribe to the channel and click the like button to help YouTube show this video to more people. It doesn't cost anything and you will be helping the channel and supporting my work. Look at the changes for File Explorer. On the app, this release now updates the context menu for tabs. So now it includes a duplicate tab option that allows you to do just that, duplicate a tab, just like in the web browser. If you use the system information app and you change the text size for the operating system, now this legacy app will follow the text size that you're configuring through the settings app. Let me show you, let's just look for the uh, text size page. And from here, let's just change the size, pick apply. And now we can see that this application now follows the preference from the text size page. On the lock screen, Microsoft did not mention this in the official notes, but now the lock screen, as you can see at the top, we have a new visual element to give us a hint to sign in into the account. And you can see the animation right here as well. And the enter your pin message is also new to this particular build. Also, if we go to the settings app and then we go to accounts, sign in options page, if we open the uh, wizard to change the pin, we're also going to see the same animation and the message to enter the pin. In the preview build for the Canary channel, Microsoft is updating the mouse settings page. And now you're going to find the option to enable or disable the enhanced pointer precision feature which previously was only available through the control panel. And you can also change the scrolling direction. So it is nice that we still continue to see Microsoft porting legacy features into the settings app. How long is it going to take to get rid of control panel? I don't have an idea for that, but at least we know that slowly the settings are migrating to the settings app. And that's pretty much all the changes that Microsoft is including on Windows 11, build 26,257 in the Canary channel. As part of the Windows 11 build 26120.1330 in the dev channel, we're going to find some of the same changes that we're seeing on the Canary channel, including, for example, the duplicate option for File Explorer. We can see that right here. And one option that is new to this particular build, it's happening on the power and battery settings page and that is that now the power mode setting allows you to set the actual mode when the computer is plugged in and when the computer is using battery unfortunately microsoft is still testing this particular feature and on my device i don't have it so that's why i have to show you on a screenshot as you can see it right here this particular bill, the system information app also follows the text size when changing the preference from the settings app, same as the preview in the Canary channel. Let's move on to the Windows 11 build 22,635.4000 in the beta channel. In this particular preview, we're not going to see a lot of changes. However, Microsoft is updating the taskbar. So now for apps pinned to the desktop, they are not running. When you hover over them, you will now are going to see the jump list to quickly access the different options. However, if the app is running, you're going to see just the preview. On this particular preview, Microsoft is also updating the widgets dashboard. However, you're not going to see a lot of visual changes. Instead, the company is improving the security and the APIs for creating custom fees. However, this is only available right now for users who are part of the European Union. I got a little bit confused because this week we have two bills 
for the beta channel. And on July 23rd, Microsoft actually released the Windows 11 build 22,635.3936. And that particular preview does include some visual changes. For example, on File Explorer, which for some reason, the uh, tabs for my particular installation are gone now. I'm pretty sure that in the next update, I'm going to get them back. But right now, I don't have any uh, tab system, as you can see right here. If we go to just to like any file, and then we use the open with option, we're going to notice that we have a new dialog box that actually hides all the options to choose a app. And now we have to actually click the more apps menu to actually see a drop down with the available apps. Also this option to browse apps in Microsoft Store, it's new to, to this update. In addition, now if we go to the settings app, more specifically to the privacy and security settings, this is a hidden feature that you actually have to enable manually right now. And that is a replacement for the general page that it used to appear right here. Now it's been renamed to recommendations and offers. And when we go to that particular page, we're going to see that all the settings for the general page has been updated and they now use different descriptions and icons to make it easier to identify what those settings do and the personalized offer option that used to be on the diagnostic and feedback page but now it's been relocated to this page and finally we have the windows 11 build 26100.1297 that is available through the release preview channel and this particular bill includes a few improvements however those improvements are not new because we had seen them on other channels already they're just now integrated into version 24h2 which is scheduled to arrive sometime in september or october and some of these changes and some of the new changes include when you go to file explorer if you go to a specific location you can now grab a file and drag it to move it to a different location by dropping it on the breadcrumb or the address bar path. If you use the backup settings, when you turn on the remember my preferences setting and you have personalization and other windows settings, the system is also going to create a backup of your sound settings. Now on File Explorer, I almost forgot, but if you try to share a file on the shared experience you now have the button to close the application so you can no longer dismiss it accidentally by clicking outside of the dial box you have the option to click and copy the file you're also going to see an option to email a specific file to yourself and if you use microsoft teams using a microsoft entra id you can share files directly into channels and groups also not new specifically to the release preview channel but if you go to accounts and and then we go to link devices this is a new page for this particular bill and this will show you all the computers and consoles that are linked with your microsoft account you can see some information if you need to see more when you click any of the options that will take you to your Microsoft account online. Furthermore, if we go to the about page and we click the rename button, we're going to see that we have an updated UI for the rename your PC dialog box. And we also have the same design style for time and language. So if you don't have the set the time automatically option turned on, and then if you go to the change option, we can also see that this dialog box has been updated to match the design for Windows 11. And the release preview channel, as we have seen on other channels, the profile menu has been updated with a new design. And actually now this is called the account manager. 
and the new design offers a preview of your Microsoft 365 benefits and it alerts you of any missing information or any other actions that you might have to take to improve the security of your account or files. In addition, you can see a glance of your cloud storage, as you can see at the bottom right here. As a result of these changes, so if you have to sign out or switch users, you have to click this button. And if you want to lock the device, you need to go to the power menu. And from here, you're going to see that option to lock the account. Also, according to the changes, you can now drag and pin an app to the taskbar. But Microsoft is rolling some of these features gradually, so I don't have it on my installation. But if you haven't seen that in action, so I'm going to switch to the kind of release of Windows 11. And if we drag an app to the taskbar, we can see that now you can pin it to the taskbar. Those are the most significant changes that Microsoft made available on the last wave of preview builds for Windows 11 and virtually all the Windows Insider channels. Remember to like the video, leave your comments, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet, and I just hope this video was informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing.